Brace yourself. This may surprise you. Companies aren't exactly jumping at the opportunity to give you something for free. Whoa, 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 hold on. I know. But the good news is with a little research, you can actually make a free website builder work. I've spent the last month trying the top free website builders, and this video is going to be a rapid tour through them. I'll show you the ads some put on free websites, I'll cover domains, feature limitations, and anything else relevant. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if you'd like to try one of these website builders, you can click a link to them in the video description below, and I may earn a commission. Okay, I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to move quickly through the free website builders that I don't recommend. Constant Contact. Constant Contact puts a big blue banner ad on free websites. Honestly, it's way too big. Strikingly. Strikingly's free plan doesn't include SSL. So when you browse the free website, you'll get a not secure message in browsers like Chrome. Not ideal. Strikingly also includes this ad that appears when you start scrolling. It's pretty large. Wix. Wix has strong paid plans, but their free plan is it's bad. For starters, there's a big ad that scrolls along your website. Also, the subdomain they give free websites is clumsy. This is your username and this is your site name. I'd rather the URL look something like this. WordPress.com. First things first, WordPress.com is not WordPress.org. WordPress.org is what most people mean when they talk about WordPress. It's the free open source CMS. Uh, and it's not what I would call a website builder. WordPress.com, on the other hand, is owned by a totally separate company. And it actually feels more like a website builder than it does a CMS. For example, hosting is provided. The major downside is that WordPress.com randomly inserts ads into your content. There's no way to control where the ads show, it's just random. You can't even anticipate and design around the ads. All right, next we're gonna talk about the just okay free website builders. XPRS. XPRS doesn't put advertisements on free websites, which is awesome. That alone makes it very worth considering. Unfortunately, the subdomain they provide free websites is pretty unusable and there's no way to edit it. Jimdo. In 2019, Jimdo launched a totally new editor where you build your website by stacking sections. Unfortunately, these sections are pretty cookie cutter. For example, you can only show or hide elements. You can't add new elements to a section. This is just too simple, which is unfortunate because the add on free Jimdo websites is really quite small. Google Sites. Here's the thing. Google Sites is not really a website builder for like a small business. It's more of a way to connect Google services for a collaboration tool. For example, the elements you use to build your website are mostly Google products like YouTube, Calendar, Map, Docs, that kind of thing. There's only one template to choose from and it has six style variations. You can choose a font color, but there's no real meaningful uh, design customization here. So what's the upside of Google Sites? Well, there's two. Number one, there's no ads on your website. That's awesome. Number two, you can connect to a custom domain. Um, but just a heads up, adding a custom domain name will require you to modify your CNAME records and that takes some technical know-how, but it's also not as hard as, as you might think. Weebly. Weebly is really easy to use. Uh, so if ease of use is important to you, um, you'll wanna try it. Many website builders limit features on free plans, but Weebly actually includes quite a bit. Uh, there's e-commerce, forms, unlimited pages, uh, and you're even able to use the Weebly app store. The downside of Weebly is the ad that scrolls along your page. It's bright blue and pretty intrusive. So only use Weebly if you can live with this. All right, on to my top three recommended free website builders. Webflow. Webflow is really powerful, but it has a learning curve. I personally love Webflow, but it's not what I suggest if you're looking for easy to use. Instead, it's what I suggest if you want complete control and flexibility. The Webflow designer gives you the flexibility of front-end coding without actually requiring you to code. You will need to understand the fundamentals of web design, but it allows for far, far more design flexibility 
than any other website builder on this list. Plus, Webflow includes a CMS in the free plan. Uh, the CMS lets you create collections, which are custom content types. Think of them like a customizable database. So for example, you could define an article collection, and then you'd add articles, and then automatically you'd get new pages for every new article. Beyond that, Webflow just includes this small scrolling ad on free websites. Now, navigating Webflow's pricing plans can be a little confusing. So here's how to do it. You want to sign up for their free account plan and then choose the staging plan for your free website. I wasn't sure what to make of the staging plan, so I asked Webflow to confirm that it could be used for publishing a website for free. Here's what they had to say. Hey, Steve, I would think of it like this. Webflow is free until you want to have more than two projects. If you want to host a website on a custom domain name or if you want to export from a project. So yeah, I take this as approval that the staging plan is essentially a free plan. Card. Card is for building one page websites. That's it. Because of that focus, it's also the best website builder for one page websites. For example, all card themes are specifically for one page websites. And while technically you can make one page websites in Weebly or Wix, they're just not as intuitive as card. Weebly and Wix are tools after all for building websites with multiple pages. Card was designed around a single purpose creating one-page websites. Card also has a very small, hardly noticeable ad on free websites. Finally, if you do decide to upgrade, you'll find that Card is extremely affordable. Plans start at $9 a year. That's not per month, $9 per year. That is way, way cheaper than website builders like Squarespace or Wix. Ucraft. My last recommended free website builder. The number one reason to use Ucraft's free plan is that it allows you to connect your own domain name. That's sweet. Otherwise, Ucraft is a pretty solid free package. Unlimited pages, Google Analytics, SSL, and a decent free subdomain should you decide you don't want to connect to a domain name. The biggest downside is the ad. If you choose Ucraft, you'll need to live with this. All right, so in conclusion, there's no single best free website builder. Instead, I think there's trade-offs to each, and I hope this video has given you a good overview of those trade-offs. Ultimately, the right tool is gonna to be the right tool for you. It depends on what you need. Like I said earlier in the video, my work is supported by affiliate commissions. So if you'd like to try one of these website builders, you can click a link to them in the video description below, and I may earn a commission. Let me know in the comments if you spot anything that's out of date. Uh, website builders tend to be experimental with their free plans, and things tend to change fast. So I'll probably have to redo this video again in a year. Thanks for watching.